How's this shirt? <laughs> yeah, I know it's a girl shirt. You told me like hundred times. <laughs> how should I know? How does a man know what a girl shirt looks like? Because <laughs> it looks like that. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Okay. delivered early this morning around 6 30 so we're gonna go lots of them yeah lots of them so we're gonna go introduce ourselves because we're gonna be really good friends and they need to know who we are so that uh they're super nice to us do you think that's a possibility 
Well, we at least try to. We put our best foot forward. Let's see what they say. Because <laughs> this best foot going to be hitting the ground 50 miles an hour if it doesn't go well. Oh, you see them swarming already. Where? You're the one with glasses. Damn. So we have these babies towards the far side of the property. So they are pretty much away from everything, but we do have some new beds that we have started tilling and pumpkins and things will probably go in there for the fall. But it's hard to tell on camera, but walking up, we see them swarming already. And there's the keep away sign. So let's see how close we can get without being too invasive. So we have a total of 10 hives. Okay, I think I'm getting a little too close. And now you can see them. And there is an electric fence around this thing because apparently we have bears in Florida. And we've always seen the signs for them on the highway, but never really have seen an actual bear. But apparently there are some here in the area and it's a threat and a strong possibility that a bear will show up here because they can smell the honey. So I don't think we're mentally prepared for that encounter yet. But let's see what happens. Minka, it is extremely important that you do not go near the fence. You got one time to go by this fence and you will learn a very, very, very big lesson. That is absolutely awesome. This is, we envisioned this ever since we came out um, to the land. And yeah. it almost happened overnight. We didn't, yeah, overnight basically. We met a couple of people and 24 hours later they were setting up. So he ended up coming out the same day and we walked the property. And so what we agreed upon is that these will be his hives that he's, um, you know, he takes care of them. He'll come out, he'll mow around and just maintain this area. He'll come out, he'll harvest the honey and we get two pounds of honey per every hive. But, um, we're more interested in selling his honey on the property. So that will be... And have the bees as pollinators on here. That was the main reason. Yeah, honey. yeah. So that's the exchange. We get the pollination um, in exchange for him keeping his bees here and harvesting the honey and stuff like that. So I think um, that's a no-brainer for us. We need the bees, obviously. And um, let's see how it works out. So we'll be keeping our eye on them. And, and he was also excited that we... Uh, well, we're not certified organic, but we are working like an organic farm. We yeah. have no pesticides, no herbicides around, so it's better for the bees anyways. Yeah, so I think the only thing we need to do is take one of those signs or create another one or something and just have it towards the entrance into the farm. Just to let people know that we are keeping bees because they they roam around, which we want them to do, but we don't want them to um, like get too close to the hives or if anyone has an allergy or something just being anywhere out here on the property obviously you're out in nature so you're going to encounter bugs and insects and things like that but we just want to really make sure we're doing our part to be proactive about informing people of their their chances of a bee encounter is slightly elevated here doing what i do best watering by hand and shuffling sprinklers so i have a sprinkler set up in the tomato bed but it's not reaching the ends like i needed to so i'm gonna try and water the ends for a little bit so that we don't lose our plants they're struggling enough with our whole watering system we really have to get our overhead sprinkler system together, which we have all the parts for now. And if you see that white PVC pipe, that long one, that's gonna be part of the overhead sprinkling system that will be in addition to the drip tape that we have. 
Okay, so he said with water conservation, it's probably best that we move forward and do drip tape throughout the farm, which we can do. Everything just takes time. We can do everything, but we're just so limited with um, this virus out there. We don't have any volunteers right now to help us with stuff. So it's just us hand watering and these two overhead sprinklers that we have right now that is going to get us through. We're taking a break in probably the only area on this side of the farm that provides shade. And it's brutally hot outside. I don't know how hot it is, but it's got to be in the 90s today. So There's an app for that. We were just here playing and loading stuff on Instagram. Yeah, just taking a quick little break so we don't pass out outside. Um, and so we were thinking that it's time for us to start ordering our shirts. A few people have messaged us wanting to know different ways that they can help support us. One way is Patreon, which is a monthly subscription that helps go towards um, providing us with resources and materials that we need to do what we do on the on the farm to be able to provide the content for you all thank you to those that have already subscribed for us thank you so much you guys are awesome <laughs> and so another way to support is through a t-shirt we all love t-shirts I mean you need a t-shirt who doesn't like a t-shirt but I want hats hats Okay, so first we'll take interest for t-shirts. So if you're interested, go ahead and send us your t-shirt size. The company that we're working with goes all the way up to a 3X. So if you would like a shirt, we are going for a standard white t-shirt with the full color print of our logo. Please, please unisex. What I went through last week, I cannot even repeat. It was horrible. It was horrible. He put on my women's fitted t-shirt and didn't want to take it off. Um, okay, we're done. Just DM us your shirt size, how many you want, we'll let you know. The heads, they're unisized, so you can adjust them any way you need to anyway, so no need to give a head size or anything. Just the uh, amount of, of your order. Thanks, guys. One of those big ants. Anyway.